Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 video. And the other day I was asked what is the fastest counter-attacking Real Madrid formation and tactics. Okay, so you can see here I've gone for a 4-2-4 with Isco just behind Benzema. Um, I was going to go 4-3-3 but everyone knows from my recent video that 4-3-3 is not very good against 4-4-2. Uh, so with Barcelona, they tend to play really defensive, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too much of an issue. But what we're going to try and do is lure Barcelona onto us and then counter-attack. So I'm going to walk you through some of my um, attacking and defensive instructions and explain why I've done it. Okay, so counter-attack. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be able to um, get my four players up front as quickly as possible. Long pass, so I'm going to be very, very direct. Um, hopefully going to win the ball off Barcelona deep in defence, deep in my defensive lines, and then um, play it to Cruz, who's got the pass ability to play it forward. Attacking area wide, flexible positioning, so I'm happy for Ronaldo and Bale to cut in um, from the wings. Support range 10, so... That's also going to help force them upfield and further away because we're going to go for the longer pass. Defensive instructions. So I've gone all out defense. So my whole team's going to be dropping back. I've gone for middle containment area because I want to try and win the ball in the central area of midfield because if I win it down the wings, it's easier for them to um, stop it playing out to the wing. If I win it in the sort of central midfield area, I can go left, I can go right. And that's what, why I chose middle. Aggressive pressuring. So I've, as you can see out there, I've got all out defense. So I just want one player just to press the ball, just to try and force them to keep moving the ball. And hopefully, um, whilst, my, uh, whilst, my, whilst the rest of my team fall back in defense. Then we've got a defensive line of two. So it's quite a deep line defense. And once again, that's to lure Barcelona onto me. And I've gone for eight for compactness. So it's going to be quite compact. So we don't want to let um, Suarez and uh, Messi run through the middle. So I've gone for defensive on Cruz. And the reason for that is because he's, he's got um, low lofted pass. If I just show you. He's, there you go. And also weighted pass. So those are, those are really key for when you want to play a long, you know, nice, accurate long passes. And he's also got some very, very good passing stats as well. So defensive on Cruz and counter target on Ronaldo and Bale. Okay, so let's uh, get this underway and see how we do. I'm a bit concerned because Barcelona are very, very defensive. Um, so I'm going to have to sort of let them have the ball. But the danger with um, Barcelona have the ball is they're very, very good at having the ball. And it's hard to win it back off them. So we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go and we'll see how, see how this pans out. So getting an early goal would uh, would be ideal. Oh, you can see what I was trying to do there. Once again, win it in the midfield area, that central midfield area, and then I don't know if this is going to get caught, cut out. No, it's not. Took far too long to release the pass. Uh, that's easy for the goalkeeper, even, even if it was on target. Okay, I'm just going to try a long ball to uh, Benzema. Gonna push my back into PK. We can then play it into Isco and out wide to Ronaldo. Oh, 
Oh, that was a good, really, really good chance. So that's one of the things you can do with uh, Isco in that SS role. He will be there to support uh, Benzema. situation to be in. Oh, yes! Wow. Great dummy run from uh, Benzema to drag the defender away. I was actually going to play it through to uh, Benzema, but I was able to just keep running. You watch this from Benzema. Just drag the defender away. This goes causing problems as well. And that's what I love about that SS role. It's very, very hard to pick up. As soon as they turn the ball over, they're really exposed. That's exactly what I was looking for. scoring that. Nice little dummy play here, or shimmy from uh, Bale before sprinting down the wing. Pulls it back. Oh. I think it was Benzema who got in the end of that. Shame it wasn't Ronaldo. This is really want to have possession of the ball because uh, this formation comes alive when you haven't got the ball. Perhaps uh, it would be better if there was, uh, if I was playing a bad player um, online who had quite an offensive formation. But Serena have gone for a, a more attacking option now with their tactics. Let's just try and go wide, just make sure that's not going to... Oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot my goalkeeper is uh, on a down arrow, but that's why I sort of just, I was more worried about Messi on the right. You can see that I had Marcelo. Okay, so 1-1. One, one. If you've not seen my indirect free kick tutorial, then I recommend checking that out. And you'll learn about some of these uh, things I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually do far post. Okay, what I'm going to do is going to bend it around. I think I think it's Ronaldo that's my far target. So I've gone for far target. Just going to try and bend it out and around. No, didn't quite get enough power. I pulled back on the left stick, which didn't probably help. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh. 
Gals ahead here. I'm just going to try and pull it back. Oh! Came off the defender. Okay, so 1-1. One, one. So far. Been a good start. But unless they've got the ball, it does make it hard to counter. Okay. This is where you can switch it very quickly. Oh, just a bit too far ahead of bail. I can definitely put it back. Oh, what a save. Cool. Soyosku in that SS role. Edge of the box. Had to put it back to him. Just double tap. Aim with the left stick where you want it to go. Right into his path. It's not a bad corner. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I thought it was in. No, that was close. Really turning the uh, screw on Barcelona right now. Oh, they've put themselves in a bit of a position here. Let's bring uh, Marcelo out to meet him. Yeah, there we go. There's that loaded off the pass. Oh, go on, let's try it. Oh, I had to try it. Had to go for the spectacular. I could have took it under control and run through on goal, but you can see how quickly, as soon as you get the ball, that low lofty pass bails in acres with that counter target. <laughs> that was my timing. I was, and I was trying to use super cancel as well all at the same time. It's not the easiest thing to do. Oh, that's reckless from PK. Okay, so we're just going to go for a um, dash here. Going to whip it in. A little bit pad, a little bit forward spin. Oh, it's, it's out for a corner. Okay, this is, a, this is a really good position to be in. This looks to be perfect. Oops. Oh! Didn't anticipate the goal, yeah. Getting that. Oh, no, that's poor. Now it's back from treatment. Let's try and flip this on. No. Nope. Ah, oh, that's a great tackle. What? Cool. If I if I had that, that was in acres. Okay, I'm just gonna move my goalkeeper over this side. You know where mess is going to go. Yeah. Okay, see if I can get the ball out quickly. Flick it backwards. There we go. Bon. Of that. Bail. That little shimmy so effective. And then bosh. Near pace finish. Lovely by Bail.
Looks like Ronaldo is being uh, tightly marked by PK. Probably explains why the uh, set was so soft. Oh, look at this. Can I give another go? Oh! That time I got the timing better, but... <laughs> you know, again, I could have run in one goal and, and probably scored, but you can see the, the openings are opening up right now. You can see how fast that counter-attack is uh, really penetrating the Barcelona defence. I'll tell you what, next time I'll, uh, I'll just take it under control and finish it. <laughs> I'm just trying to go for the spectacular goals to entertain you guys. So that's two I should have had, two more. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Okay. Okay, there's some people at the far post, just gonna do a little bit of skill. Beautiful. Just the R three, just to flick it over the bells there. It's just oh god! I'm just trying to curl it in to the far post. Just a normal pass into him on his favourite left foot. That's what I thought. He could just flick it out around the goalkeeper into the, into the far corner, but didn't quite come off. It's one of my favourite type of goals. That is just. Score it usually does come off, but you just just gotta make sure you hit the target. Okay, let's get another goal before we uh for a night. Here we go. This is what you should do. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he was like lightning off his line. I changed my mind halfway through through that move. I was, I was going to go straight in on goal, and then uh, then just chip him. And then I saw my two midfielders coming up, and I thought oh, I'll just put it back for them. It wasn't to be. 89th minute. Let's try not to concede the goal. Pretty easy to defend those corners, especially if you see my new video regarding uh, uh, we got time to maybe get one more go on let's, let's do this cut inside let's try it oh my god the finishing has been dreadful <laughs> it could be five or six anyway there you go that for me is the fastest formation or fastest counter-attack information for Real Madrid. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, I could have had God, there's how many goals really, um, but unfortunately, I couldn't couldn't pull off the spectacle for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.